Welcome back everyone, I'm Tanisa, and in today's video, I'm gonna use African black soap to make an acne wash, a body wash, and hair shampoo. So if you wanna learn how to make these items, continue watching. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. You can buy African black soap at your local African store, or you can order it online. Just make sure it says African black soap or raw African black soap. There are many benefits to African black soap. It can help with skin issues like acne, eczema, oily skin, and it can also help with fine lines, wrinkles, dark spots, and more. I'm going to use these small bottles that you can get at your local beauty store, Target, or Walmart. And I'm going to be using these essential oils. I'm going to use a tea tree oil for my acne wash, a lemon essential oil for my body wash, and a rosemary essential oil for my hair shampoo. It's a good idea to make acne wash, body wash, and the hair shampoo in small batches and keep in the refrigerator. However, by adding a preservative like an essential oil, you don't have to keep refrigerated. Next, I'll be using these oils, but only for my body wash and hair shampoo. So I'll be using organic coconut oil, castor oil, and extra virgin olive oil. However, you can use any oils you like. Some items you will need for this DIY include measuring cups, a bowl or container, cheesecloth to help strain the African black soap, also a fine mesh strainer, a pair of scissors, a funnel to easily pour into the bottles, a knife to cut the African black soap, a pot to boil the water to melt the African black soap, and of course water. You can use filtered water, spring water, or distilled water. So we're going to add the water to the pot. There is no right or wrong regarding how much water you would like to use. Use as little or as much as you like. Then we're going to boil the water or get it really warm. And while that's boiling, we're gonna cut our African black soap. And as you can see, it's really easy to cut the soap. Cut as much as you like. And just for safekeeping, be sure to store your African black soap in an airtight plastic bag to prevent the soap from going bad. And here are your slices of soap in the bowl. And the water is ready. So we're gonna take the warm water or boiling water and simply pour it over the soap. Let's go ahead and add a little bit more. And we're simply gonna cover it up and let that sit for a while so the soap can melt. And as I do it on the cooking shows, I already made a batch last night. This is how the soap looks when it's melted. Next, we're gonna cut a piece of the cheesecloth to help with straining. And then we're just gonna fold the cheesecloth a few times. And we're gonna place our cheesecloth in the strainer. So let's strain. And the reason why we want to strain the melted African black soap is because we want to remove the coarse ingredients that was used to make the soap that would be abrasive against our skin. See what I'm saying? You don't want that in your acne wash, nor do you want that in your body wash, or get that in your hair when you're trying to get your head clean. All right, let's get started making the acne wash. I'm going to take the funnel and place it in the spray bottle. Then I'm going to take the melted African black soap and easily pour it down the funnel. Add the tea tree essential oil. I'm using 10 drops. You can use more or use less. And we're going to close the bottle up and give it a little shake and there is your acne wash. For the body wash, we're going to use a lemon essential oil and extra virgin olive oil. And same thing, we're going to take the funnel and put it in the bottle and pour the African black soap down the funnel. 
And with our essential oil, we're gonna add 10 drops. You can use less or you can use more. Close that up, give it a little shake, and there is your body wash. Lastly, we're going to make the shampoo using castor oil, organic coconut oil, extra virgin olive oil, and the rosemary essential oil. Funnel in the bottle, and we're going to pour the melted soap. Then we're going to use a half teaspoon of the extra virgin olive oil, a half teaspoon of melted organic coconut oil, and a half teaspoon of the castor oil. Add the essential oil, close that up and give it a shake. And voila, that is your shampoo. Thanks for watching and if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe and follow me on Instagram and Twitter.